What's good, everybody? Hey, welcome to Soul Food Sunday. Hey, listen, this video right here is just one part in a three-part series. Listen, we're doing a three-part collaboration with three channels. Myself, we got Soul Food Cooking, and then we got Ray Mac Kitchen and Grill. You know what? One way to kind of look at this is just almost like being like a, uh, like a YouTube potluck. Nobody's making the same dish. Everybody just threw their hat in with a soul food theme. And you know what? I'm not gonna over talk it. I want you guys to, after this video, go ahead and take a look at each one of these two entries and uh, and look at what they did. You guys probably already know Ray Mac and Soul Food Cooking. Hey, listen, great channels. You know, uh, hey, listen, the, the best part about the whole thing about, you know, sharing in this uh, food community, you meet some good people, you get to see different styles, and it helps you refine your game. So, when this is over with you guys, go ahead and take a look. Hey, you know, I like to say I'm not going to over talk it because I feel like I've been saying a whole lot. We finna get right into this video. Okay, let's go over the ingredients. Okay, right here, we got a quarter cup of the reduced, you know, this is reduced sodium uh, soy sauce. That's the way to go if you ask me. Listen, I like the low sodium. I don't want to over talk it, but that's it right there. Okay, we got one tablespoon of sesame oil. All right, if you guys never cook with that, once you smell it, I know when you see the name, you know, uh, the name sesame seed, if you never uh, used it before, you know, you might think uh, like it's really truly Asian, but you gotta, hey, when you smell it, it smells down home Southern. This is it right here. Okay, then we got one tablespoon right here, a rice vinegar. Then we got some hot sauce. And here, we got all of our, uh, our dry seasonings. As you can see on the uh, on the screen right there, I post them up along with the quantities. Then we got some honey. Gotta have that honey. Gotta have a little balance. And then of course you got your star right here. This right here is your oxtails. This is almost three pounds. It don't look like it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, maybe they charge me, but they say it's almost three pounds. All right, let's get started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spray our, you know, our crock pot with this cooking spray right here, it's just so nothing to stick. So, you just lay them in there just like that, and that's what it should look like. Uh, this is the easy part. Okay, here's where it gets really simple. All we do is add all our remaining ingredients, everything, minus the cornstarch. So, just sprinkle it all in. A little hot sauce, gotta have a just a little kick. Oh, and before we get to that, we're gonna put a little honey in here. together and this right here smells incredible I wish you guys could smell it but you guys are gonna make it anyway once you smell it you gonna understand what I'm talking about yeah it already says you know something southern you know so check it out let's get it cracking and then all we gonna do is once we have it you know mixed good and it's finished whisking all we gonna do is pour it on top of the oxtails make sure it's all coated and then the fat from the oxtail and the long cook, which we're gonna be doing it for about eight hours. Uh, after that, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. We're just gonna continue on and I'm gonna show you. Okay, now all you do is just pour this, you know, pour it over there just so you can get it on top. But we're gonna stir it around anyway. But we just wanna get some of this on there. This right here is almost like it's concentrated. Cause once the fat starts to uh, melt off of these oxtails and you know, mix with the juice and it starts, you know, rendering down, Hey, this right here is gonna be just super, super good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just move it like this. We just wanna get all the pieces coated. Now for the cook time, we just wanna hit the power. We wanna set it on low. We're gonna put it up eight hours. Then we hit start. And what we want to do is we want to make sure in eight hours that these become super tender. Okay, so after eight hours, more than likely, this is how yours are going to look. You could check them with a fork to make sure they're like super tender. 
what you want to do is you want to take all of your oxtails put them on a platter off to the side then you want to make sure that there's no uh, meat chunks inside of your uh, gravy you want to take your gravy put it in a saucepan after you do that then you want to put your oxtails back into the uh, crock pot and just set it on warm just to keep them warm so here we want to look you want to bring it to a boil and you remember that cornstarch we're going to add some cold water to it you know what we had one tablespoon of cornstarch starch now you add one tablespoon of cold water you know blend it and then you want to just add it slowly to your gravy you know to get it thickened you know thickened up now i serve my oxtails on top of white rice you know you know you want to have something where you can uh have it you know some kind of something that would like absorb it and that white rice any type of rice to be honest with you but i just like the white rice like the way it looked it tastes you know really really good so after you have all your cornstarch slurry you know add it to it you know on like a medium high heat then go ahead and just stir it what i did now i reduced it after i started getting close to the thickness that i was looking for i just went ahead and reduced it and then i eventually just turned off of the uh turned the fire off and here you'll see look that's the consistency that i had off in the background now look we just pour that right on top of that and you want to talk about something good i can't uh, hey listen you guys got to try it this way i make it several different ways but i thought this right here would be the one hey you guys here you go this is soul food sunday this is my entry oxtails So tell me what you guys think about that there. I hope you guys like it. And let me just say right now, hey, welcome to Soul Food Sundays. This three-part collaboration, I'm sure this is probably gonna be, maybe this might be something that becomes a tradition. Hey, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section, you know, below and tell me, do you guys follow Soul Food Cooking and Ray Mac Kitchen and Grill? If you do, you know, let me know. Hey, two great channels, you gotta check them out. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, it's the first time you're watching me, let me go ahead and just say, hey, thank you. You know what? Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video and share it. Oh, and look at them other two uh, channels also. And tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, thank you, and I'm out.